Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on annotating model photos in Illustrator. We're going to be working with this model photo which we previously did some colour edits to in the previous video. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to save this out as a JPEG just by going File, Save As, as a JPEG file there and we'll save that and then we're going to open this up in Illustrator. So I'm just opening up Illustrator here and we'll take that JPEG file which we have in this folder, drag and drop it onto our Illustrator board so it comes in like so. And then all I'm going to do is just rescale that and this is just to an A4 board here, like so. So now we have our JPEG file linked into our Illustrator page. By default that would just come in this base layer 1 in Illustrator and we can call this photo and as soon as that's in, we can lock that layer there because we don't need to do anything with that photo layer. We're going to be drawing over the top of it to annotate it in Illustrator. Now, for this particular model, I quite like to highlight this panel on the side of the model here. So what we're going to do is we're going to outline this using the pen tool. And the pen tool is just found on the left-hand toolbar here. I'm just using the pen tool and make sure my line color set to just a black for now. We're just going to draw around the edge of this shape just by clicking at each point on the shape and drawing around the edge like so until we join back to the center. And when you join you'll see a little circle come up on your pen tool which will tell you that that's joining back to the start point to make a closed loop and there it will be finished like so. Now from here we can change the stroke weight of this line to make it slightly thicker and bolder. You could also if you wanted to add a fill colour in here if we wanted to sort of highlight it a certain colour on the model as well. For this particular diagram I actually want to add a hatch into this so we're going to go and open up our patterns and swatches library in the top left hand corner here if we go down to the swatches menu library there we can open up our patterns basic graphics and our basic graphics lines now this opens up a kind of lots of different line graphics we can use as patterns in our fill tab here and i'm just going to use the first one there if we just double click on that it will then input into our fill there and we have that basic line hatch pattern there and we can also see the model photo behind that which is what I want for this particular diagram. Now we've got that I'm going to just close that down. I actually don't want this to be in black I kind of want this to be a yellow color so we're just going to take that hatch which is in our fill here we're going to drag it from our fill panel and onto our artboard like so and this will come out as a series of lines. If we then select these and we go object ungroup to ungroup them we then deselect just holding the shift key this square in the middle like so and so we're just selecting the lines and then I'm going to change these just in the line tool here to be a nice kind of yellow color let's make it sort of an orangey yellow for this example like so and with that color changed we'll then select the lines again We'll go object group to group them back up and I'm just going to click and drag them back into my menu here. And with that done, what that's now done is if I make a new square, I've now got a yellow hatch instead of our black hatch. So what we can do is I'm going to select this object I made previously, use the color picker tool or the eyedrop tool just to eyedrop this hatch I've made and we can now turn that to a yellow hatch there. And we can delete those once that's done. Now I'm going to up the outer stroke weight there, so we've got that thick line. And also, let's say, I quite like this, the angle of this hatch to change to a 45 degree angle. So we're going to go to Object, Transform, Rotate, and we're just going to rotate the pattern. So we're going to untick the object there and rotate the pattern by that minus 45 degrees. Hit OK. And then let's also scale up this pattern because the lines are quite close together and I want them to be a bit further apart. So I'm going to go object and scale this time. 
and we're going to scale by 200 percent but just the pattern so you can see there that's happening there and hit OK. So now we have our outlined area with our yellow crosshatch pattern. Now for the last part of this we've got our kind of pattern in this layer. I'm going to make a new layer called annotation and we're just going to type out these are supposed to be kind of glass fiber cement panels. So let's do GR, GRFC panel for this piece, which is what I want to label it as. I'm going to make sure the color matches the color of my outline. And to do that, we can just highlight our text, use the eyedropper tool again, and just pick that outer line. What you'll see is it will come out with our hatch trying to kind of color the text the same as our hatch and we don't want that so I can use this little flip icon here to swap that yellow so it becomes the fill color and my stroke color I can just set to none there and that will leave me with my yellow text and then we can just up that to a let's do it as a size 14 I think is fine I'm going to justify it to the center for now and make this a little bit smaller and then just to add Using the line tool, we're going to connect a line here, and I'm also going to draw one at a 45 degree angle. If we select both of those, we can match those to the color of this as well. But I'm going to make these slightly thinner. Let's just make these a one point line. And we can then connect them together like so. And just holding the shift key, I'm just extending this down to join onto my panel there. Now you might want to make this a dotted line when we have annotation labels like this. A dash line, a three point dash is good to go for if you're not sure what to set the dash to. And I'm also just going to select this line here and we're going to add a small dot using the arrowheads function there just to the end. If it goes on the wrong side you can use this switch to switch the way that dot goes around. And there we have our label. So that was just a very quick tutorial in adding hatches and annotations to a model photo in Illustrator. And once you're happy with that, we can then either save it as an Illustrator file or you can go export, export as, and we can export it out using the artboards here as a JPEG or any image file you wish to export it as there to save that out as an image file from there. So that was a very quick tutorial on adding annotations to a model photo in Illustrator. Thank you for watching.